Okay, let's take a look at SVM 2019 paper 1 questions number 14. So, diagram 5 shows 3 straight lines such that K, P, Q and R are constant. So, this is diagram 5. We have 3 straight lines. Alright, so this line and this line are parallel. So, we are asked to express K in terms of Q, R in terms of K and P. And this question gives us 3 marks. So, first of all, we are asked to express K in terms of Q. So, where is K? K is at here. Where is Q? Q is at here. So, meaning we are looking at these two straight lines. And we notice that this straight line and this straight line intersect at this point. So, this point is lies on Y axis. So, we know that on Y axis, X is equal to 0. So, with this information, we can substitute into this straight line and this straight line. Okay, so first of first thing first, we are looking at this equation first. Alright, so we can say that at y axis, x is equal to 0. Alright, so we substitute into this first equation over here. Okay, so ky is equals to 3x. So x is equal to 0, 3x will be 0 plus 6. Then we can say that y equals to 6 over k. This is equation number 1. So we are making y the subject because in the end we do not want y. So we need to substitute 6 over k into y. Right? And then the next one is look at these equations. Okay? This equation also passes through this point at y axis. So we can say that at y axis x equals to 0 and then 0 minus y over q is equal to 1. And we rearrange it and make y the subject we will get y equals to negative q. Right? And notice that equation number 1 and equation number 2, they, ha they have the same subject. So we can say that equation number 1 is equal to equation number 2. 1 is equal to 2. And we will get 6k, 6 over k equals to negative q. And the question wants us to find k in terms of q. So we need to rearrange these equations. We will get k equals to minus 6 over q. So this will be our answer. Second part, express r in terms of k and p. So r is over here. So k here, p here. So we notice that this straight line and this straight line are parallel. So that means the gradient of this straight line is same as the gradient of this straight line. So what is the gradient of this straight line? Okay, so this is the equations. Ky equals to 3x plus 6. So the gradient will be y equals to 3 over kx plus 6 over k. Right, so this is the y equals to mx plus c form. So we know that from here, we know that the gradient, the m, is equal to 3 over k. Therefore, the gradient of here is 3 over k as well. So these equations of straight line, okay, equation of the straight line is y equals to 3 over kx plus r. Alright, some of you may ask, why r? So how do I get r? So let me explain it at here. So the general form of the equation of the straight line is y equals to mx plus c. Isn't it? So we already got m from this straight line, okay, which is 3 over k. And then how do we find C? 
Okay, we know that this red line passes through this point R over here at the y axis. So the coordinate of this point is 0, R. So we can say that at point 0, R, then we substitute 0 into x, R into y. So substitute this into here. So we can get r equals to m is 3 over k, x is 0 plus c. So we can say that c is equal to r. That's why we got this. That's why we got this. All right. So y, the equation of this straight line is y equals to 3 over k, x plus r. All right. Then how do we remove y and x? Okay, because we are asked to find r in terms of k and p without any x, without any y. So another intersection point is at here. For this straight line is at the x-axis. On x-axis, y is equal to zero. So we are we can use this equation of this straight line to eliminate the y and x. So we can say that at, okay, hold on, let me change the color. We can say that at x axis, y equals to 0. So we substitute y equals to 0 into these equations. So we get, get x over P minus 0 equals to 1 and then x is equal to P now we know that the coordinate of this point on this x axis is P 0 okay so we can substitute back into these equations to eliminate the x and y coordinate right so, next step is, is at point P0, okay, which is here, P0 is over here, we substitute P into X, 0 into Y, into the, this straight line, alright? So, 0 is equal to 3 over k p plus r. Alright? So we rearrange it, it will become r equals to 3 over k. Yeah, correct? So r is equal to negative 3p over k. So this will be our answer. r in terms of p in terms of k and p. So r is equal to negative 3p over k. So that's all for now. I'll see you next time.